Hello and welcome to Biology Interest. Today we're going to be looking at digestion and absorption as part of the A-level biology revision series. So digestion and absorption, this is basically when large biological molecules take starch or proteins as an example from food which you eat uh, are broken down into smaller more easy to manage molecules because the problem with these large molecules is they're too big to cross your cell membranes and enter your cells uh, for use elsewhere in your body which means they can't get from the gut into the blood and so what essentially happens during digestion absorption is that enzymes or, or similar uh, typically enzymes hydrolyze the bonds between these big large molecules breaking them into smaller pieces and so we're going to look at the three main types of large molecules that are broken down by the body uh, for use elsewhere in, in cell production or stuff like that. So first we're going to look at carbohydrates and this is car carbohydrates like uh, starch. Now the enzyme you need to know which breaks down starch is amylase, which is a digestive enzyme that catalyzes the formation, which catalyzes the conversion of starch into a smaller sugar called maltose. So starch is a polysaccharide, it's got many uh, bonds and maltose is a disaccharide it's it's two molecules jointed together by a bond now this breakdown involves the hydrolysis of glycosidic bonds that's the bonds holding pieces of uh, holding the glucose monomers in a starch polymer together glycosidic bonds now amylase you need to know is produced in the salivary glands and also produced in the pancreas now you also need to know about membrane brown disaccharides which are enzymes found in the cell membranes of the epithelial cells in the ileum. So that's the kind of final part of the small intestine. Now these help break down disaccharides. So it's kind of easy to remember. If you remember disaccharidases, that's the name of the enzyme. Ase is, tells you and it's an enzyme and that breaks down disaccharides. And these are maltose, sucrose, lactose, kind of sugars with two monomers joined together by a single bond while glucose is a monomer it's only one uh, it's a monosaccharide it's a single thing and so why i'm writing out now is the three types of disaccharide you have to know and what they break down into so maltose is a common disaccharide and that is just basically two glucose monomers joined together sucrose is often found in plants and that breaks down into glucose and fructose monomers and lactose, which is often found in milk, is broken down into glucose and galactose. And I also write down the enzymes that are required. Basically the same thing, but with A's on the end instead of O's. So now we're gonna look at the, the next large molecule which is broken down, and that's a lipid. And these are broken down by lipase enzymes. Now lipi lipids break down into monoglycerides and fatty acids, basically the two parts that they are made out of. And to break them down, it involves a hydrolysis. So the breakdown of something uh, releasing water, using water, sorry, of an ester bond. So while with carbohydrates, it's glycosidic bonds, with lipids, it's a ester bond. Now, it's important to also know that lipids are made in the pancreas. So the, the way lipids are broken down is essentially you have the large, big lipid dro uh, droplet and you also have bile salts produced in the liver. And these help emulsify the lipids. Emulsifiers essentially break down the big droplets into little droplets via emulsification, which has been covered at GCSE and you just need to know pretty similar about it here. And so these bile salts kind of bind with the lipid, break it down into smaller lipid droplets, which increase the surface area because they're smaller. And this allows for basically more absorption of these lipids or digestion of these lipids by the enzyme lipase. So they can be broken down more quickly by lipase 
into monoglycerides and fatty acids. And now when these monoglycerides and fatty acids are broken down, the biocells bind with them, essentially kind of binding them into little balls called micelles, which allow them to be transported to cell surface membranes where they can then diffuse across, uh, be released from the micelles and diffuse across, which I'll look at again later. So that's kind of a bit different from the way glucose and work works and also proteins work. Remember that biocells kind of increase the surface area and also allow the lipids, the fatty acids in micelles to be carried more easily to be absorbed. So finally, we're going to look at the third of the big three uh, large molecules, and that's proteins. Now, proteins are often broken down by a different combination of proteases or peptidases, the two types of enzymes that break down proteins. They have essentially convert proteins into amino acids by hydrolyzing the peptide bonds between them. So there's two types of enzymes that we need to know about for proteins and that's endopeptidases and exopeptidases. Now it's all in the name about what these two different protein breaking down enzymes actually do. Endopeptidases hydrolyze the bonds within a protein. Endo means inside. So they hydrolyze the bonds inside the middle of the protein breaking it into smaller pieces while exopeptidases act on the ends of the proteins. And so you tend to get the endopeptidases breaking down the middle bit, and then the exopeptidases acting on the outside. And so you want the endopeptidases there to increase the surface area of the ends for the exopeptidases. And then we also have to know that dipeptides break down um, dipeptides. Dipeptidases break down dipeptides, uh, which just br break down the peptide bond between them separating two amino acids, which is what a dipeptide is. And so once all these large molecules are broken down into smaller, more monomers or di, di, two monomers joined together, uh, they then have to be absorbed. So monosaccharides such as glucose are absorbed by active transport, tend to be across a cro-transport protein uh, with sodium, while with lipids, micelles kind of move the lipids towards the cell surface membrane which then they release them near the cell surface membrane and because fatty acids and, and monoglycerides are lipid soluble, they can literally just diffuse across the membrane. They no, don't need any help there. Uh, so that's quite useful. And proteins are also, or proteins or amino acids, the monomers of the protein, uh, are moved across the membrane in a similar way to glucose. They, they're just actively transported across uh, and how it go across a co-transport protein with sodium. So I hope that's been clear about the process and the methods of digestion and absorption. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.